Legion's Imperialis is held on many battlefields and sectors, which is host to many types of terrain. In this video, we'll be showing you two base colour schemes to complement your armies. As you'll have many bases to paint, we've kept these bases simple, but they have some real character. If you're new to painting or want to brush up on your skills, you can check out the Citadel Colour Painting Essentials videos to learn all about paints and painting techniques. The paints we've used are on the screen right now. These are for two very different types of bases, one quite light stone and one very dark. We also have a list of the additional equipment we've used, but you can use whatever brushes you feel most comfortable with, and you can replace the mediums with water instead. The two bases we'll be looking at are a clean sandstone style. This works really well if your army has a darker colour scheme, making them stand out from the base. If you love the Thousand Suns or have any solar auxilia, this one might be really suited to your style. We'll start with an undercoat of Wraithbone for this. If you've already stuck and undercoated your models in another colour, you can use a couple of thin coats from a pot of Wraithbone for this. If not, you can spray or paint from the pot in advance of your models being glued down. We'll start by mixing one part Seraphim Sepia with three parts Lamium Medium for a very light shade. We'll be applying this all over the base with a medium shade brush and work in small circles. This just helps the shade settle down in all of the small cracks and details. If it looks a little too heavy in places, you can dry off your brush and gently soak away if needed. When that is dry, we can apply Agaros dunes inside any of the cracks or recesses of the stonework. This just darkens it down a little bit more than our shade, so you use a small layer brush for this. Don't worry if you get a little bit on the raised stonework, just be neat as you can. Next, we'll use White Scar to add some texture to our bases with stippling. You can stipple with either a small dry brush or with a piece of foam. With both tools, we want to make sure that we remove some of the moisture just like with dry brushing, but we want to keep enough that we make sure that we mark on the base. You can use either or combination of the two to get some really good results. Then you can pick out any larger edges with the same colour using a small layer brush. This works really well for some of the larger bases too. Now we'll look at a dark, battle damaged base. This works well for lighter or brighter colour schemes like Imperial Fists or White Scars, but the choice is really up to you. These bases are undercoated in Mechanica Standard Grey. And you can follow the same steps I mentioned earlier depending if you glued down your models or not. To start this base off, we'll be mixing one part Basilicon and Grey with two parts Contrast Medium. By using the same medium brush in circular motions, we can have some really neat and consistent coverage over all our bases. And just like before, you can soak up any excess contrast if it's pooling too heavily. Just make sure that you get this mix into all of those gaps to make them super dark. After that contrast is fully dry, we can move on to doing some stippling on the base using Dawnstone. By using the same techniques as before, we can get a really strong worn or damaged effect on the darker stone. Just be careful you don't get too much in the gaps or recesses, but you can always take a small layer brush and some pure basilicon and grey and make those darker again. And to finish off this base, we'll be adding some dark, dirty rust to some of the larger gaps and cracks. We'll thin down one part scrag brown with three parts lamy medium, just so the paint can flow into those gaps, but still hold all that colour together. As it dries, you probably see some patches where it may be lighter. And if you want it a little bit stronger, you can put a bit more into the gaps. With both our bases now finished, they are ready for whatever armies you've picked. And for one last step to finish off your bases is by painting the rim, so you can pick any colours you prefer. For example, for the sandstone I have picked Xandri Dust, and for the darker stone I've used Corvus Black. For more tutorials, tips and tricks, check out our videos on the Warhammer YouTube channel or head to your local Warhammer store where our amazing staff will be happy to help you. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.